Hi, this is Isaac. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to set up a secure FTP server and how to add new users to your new dedicated server. So the first thing we're going to need to do, even before getting our web server set up, is getting at least one user account uh, on the server and getting an FTP server running so that you can transfer files to it for posting onto your website, for example. Before we go into how to set this up, I want to briefly introduce our options with regards to FTP. Basically, we have three different options to use. SFTP, also known as secure FTP. We have normal FTP. Or we can go without FTP and set up an alternate way of moving files to and from the server. If you're not planning on allowing any outside access to users other than yourself to your server, I'd highly recommend using SFTP, which is, by the way, what we're going to look into. If you are planning on letting other users access your server, my recommendation is still to use SFTP. There are plenty of free SFTP, SFTP clients out there, including FileZilla, WinSCP, and CyberDuck for the Mac. Almost every Linux distribution comes with an SFTP client out of the box. Major web design programs like Dreamweaver also support SFTP, so there's no real lack of client support. To get started, we're going to set up an initial user and give them a home directory. To do this, let's log into Webmin, and in the main menu, we'll select System and Users and Groups. Next, we're going to want to select Create a New User, which will do pretty much what it sounds like it will. Note that different distributions uh, might have a slightly different screen than the one that we're displaying here. Um, but most of the important things will be pretty much uh, um, the same. So we're going to set up the user's details. Uh, the username is that the user the username is the username for the user that we are now creating. It's not necessarily the username that we're using to create. It's the username that the, this user that we're going to create will use to connect to the, uh, to the server. There's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, the ID should always be left automatic unless you know what you're doing. Uh, so for this, in this case, I'm going to set up a username Isaac. And the real name, I'm going to set Isaac G. And I like to add an email address I like to add an email address so that way I can you know see who the user is uh, and and what I can uh, do to it. Uh, for for a password, we'll select normal password and we'll set an initial password to secret. Now, possibly the most important selection on this page is shell, um, which is this guy over here. Uh, this determines the level of access that the new user is going to have for our system. So for now, we're going to leave the default value. But when we come to setting up the FTP account, we'll come revisit it. Everything else can pretty much be left as is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create to make that new user. And there we go. There's our brand new user. Unfortunately, the way things are set up now, uh, the user has unlimited shell access to the server, which means that they can use a secure client like SSH to go in um, and, and uh, actually run commands on the server, which might not be what you want to let them do. Uh, to get around that, we're going to change their shell to be the secure FTP server, uh, which means that they can still connect through SSH, but once they're inside SSH, all they can do is use the FTP server, uh, which is, means 
basically that all they can do is uh, move files to and from the server. Uh, to do that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the SFTP server to the list of system shells. 